it's the 26th of December 2022 I'm just parked down by the uh, <coughs> reserve on Slapton line and I, I'm hoping the rain's about to stop so I can go and fly the drone and the drone is of course the uh, subject of this video and probably for those who've got the stamina <coughs> the videos that will follow and there has already been one um, and it seemed a good time just to reflect on the first two months almost of ownership of this Autel Evo Light Plus drone um, purchased second hand actually from the Edinburgh Drone Company who have been very helpful um, although I think being slightly immodest um, I did solve the problems I had almost all on my own anyway but they did try and help so I'm going to turn off now I can't see any new raindrops uh, on the windscreen hopefully um, and we'll go for a fly uh, but what follows will be a lot of other bits and pieces as well um, with my voiceover and uh, captions where appropriate So we'll join the fisherman and the metal detectorist and uh, we'll get the flevo light up in the air in a minute. And that will be worth knowing, at least the, uh, the next time I drop a brick and get carried away and think, well, I've got all these facilities, I must use them straight away. Hmm, perhaps not. Just leave it on auto. It does a much better job. Although I have had now uh, a bit more experience and I do play around with the settings um, without quite such as big a disaster as the uh, previous but auto is very very good so I'm just running through this little section here of low light stuff um, just to show how well the camera does seem to cope with this this type of thing um, in a minute I'm gonna crop in so you can see what detail there is or isn't as the case may be Well, I think what I'm doing now is going in actually a lot tighter with the cropping um, than you would ever want to do in real life. But it still looks pretty good to me. Um, depends what size screen you're on, perhaps. But anyway, I'm impressed. I leave it to you to judge for yourself. Because that, in the end, is the whole purpose of this. This is not a technical review. There are plenty of brilliant ones out there on the internet. This is just me, a hobbyist, only in his second year of drone flying, just doing my own testing and experimenting. Um, and I thought it was worth sharing uh, for anyone going through the same sort of thought processes as I am. So I hope it's proving useful. Needless to say, my password was more than eight characters long, did meet all the criteria up there, and no matter how many times I tried, I got exactly the same 
message. Just to manage my stress levels, I'm putting some nice floaty uh, pictures taken with the uh, drone um, before I finish this story. To cut a very, very long story short, I contacted Hotel with the issue. Uh, Edinburgh Drone Company contacted their techni the technical people that they had direct links with. I posted on forums. Nobody seemed to know what the issue was. Um, as well as trying to set up on my iPhone uh, 10, I tried to do it on my iPad. Same problem. In the end, in desperation, um, I borrowed my wife's um, Pixel phone. First time, no problems, worked perfectly. And what do you know, the account that it set up on the Pixel phone was now recognised on all my Apple products as well. So you tell me what was going on, I have absolutely no idea and nobody else seems to have ever experienced this issue anywhere. So, now I've got an account, I've got flight logs, what can possibly go wrong now? Surely, nothing at all. Think again.